My name is Spencer Chartier, and the name of my disability is called cerebral palsy, which in my case, it makes the muscles very tight and very hard to control or bend or flex, because sometimes, like I'm doing right now, like when I get excited, I lose control of my muscles and my legs kick out uncontrollably, which is why I'm slouching and I have to keep scooting myself back. You are about to see a short film about my uh, trips to Philly and my exercises that I do in the study and just kind of see what fun Philly is because every kid's asking me, Spencer, how is Philly? Spencer, how is Philly? Spencer, how is Philly? And now after you see the film, you're gonna know. Cause Shriners Hustle Philadelphia is the hustle that was agreed to uh, take the study. Well, agreed to uh, house it, I guess. Most of the time, people with, people with cerebral palsy don't really get consistent exercise. And it's not because they're lazy, it's not because any of that. It's simply because there's nothing for them specifically with cerebral palsy. There's no, like, thing specifically targeted for them. I didn't really know what to expect. I was super excited for the trip, for the trips to Philly because the only state that we've really ever been in since moving here is Nebraska. And everyone else, and all my family is in Nebraska. And if all you see is Nebraska, for yeah, you get pretty bored. I barely even remember the last time we had a real vacation and I was excited because it's Philly there's a lot of history and I love history. You, now this next clip you're seeing here is the preparation for a typical day of testing and I was I was thinking during this clip yeah this is this is gonna be fun and I'm just super excited to see oh yeah and one other thing I'm not allowed to talk during this test so I will be silent for once in my life I just couldn't wait to get down to the lab now in this next clip I'm in the lab I'm in the bike and I'm getting ready to cycle and I'm doing a test where they're Trying to see how fast I can go. Yeah, take it away, man. Crank it out. Go, 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 go. Nice. Go, go, go. Don't forget to breathe. Now in this clip, they're doing another test called the metabolic test, which would measure my uh, oxygen and CO2 levels, just to see if my breathing's stable or not. I'm a very verbal person. Since I don't really work physically with gestures and all of that, my primary method of communication is talking. And when you uh, take that away, very, very difficult. Yeah, Henry's going to use a lot of big medical terms, which basically if you're not a physical therapist or you're not related to a physical therapist you have like zero chance of understanding uh okay so we've got all the different muscles here in spencer's left leg this would be his rectus femoris the vastus lateralis the tibialis anterior gluteus maximus biceps femoris and lateral gastroc muscles throughout his thighs and lower leg um, and calves and what we can see, this is over the course of um, him pedaling for maybe 10 to 20 seconds there, is when his muscles are actually turning on and off. Um, we'll line this up with the crank angle to see uh, when exactly, at what point during the cycle, um, the muscles are coming on. If you're wondering how in the world I got the camera with all the cool, cool shots, my uh, camera crew is my mother. That's why sometimes you hear this ominous, somewhat creepy voice. She was very 
good as videotaping by the time we reached the third trip. First time I was supposed to go there, super swarm. Sandy broke it, broke out. And the third time I was supposed to go there, my grandfather died. Just literally right before we were supposed to go there. Here is a test which they call the six minute walk. And basically what they do is they uh, take me to this giant hallway here which you can't see because the your view is a little small because of the camera angles and stuff. And they have me walk up and down and up and down and they see how, how many times I can do a complete cycle front and back in six minutes to like test speed and stuff. This is another test. It's called the um, sit to stand test. And it's good. what they do is they have me stand up, walk around in a small circle and sit back down. Hello everyone, my name is Bhagavad Jan and I'm the driver for the paratransit. I drive paratransit bus. This guy, this guy is Gian, who I was talking about earlier. He's our cab driver. He's the one who showed us all the cool sights of Philly. I, re I really like him. He's a good guy. But it is my responsibility to transport my customer from one point to another. I take it as a personal, not as a job. Personal, personal responsibility. John had blown a tire and he drives a small bus, so obviously one person is not strong enough to change that. He took a taxi to the airport to, t to tell us this information that he was gonna be late, and he set us up with a different cab just to make sure we got to the hospital, which we kind of decided to uh, give John a present, which I don't know if you can recognize it from this camera angle, but that is a LHS scarf out of the lovely gift shop we have here in LHS. Don't you love it when you give someone a present when they're just not expecting it? Really makes you feel good. He's a, he's a really nice, really classy guy and he tries to make money but he also keeps his integrity. That's what's good about some Americans. What you're seeing here is the monitor for the metabolic test and they're simply uh, monitoring with this little uh, miniature ball here in the box. The ball is like, that's a representation of how fast I'm going, how s strong the cycling is and how much energy I put out. And the object here is to get that ball in the box, which will move up as it gets harder and harder and har harder. The idea with this test is to, um, to not have too much strength, but not have too little strength, just to get it in the right zone. Oh yeah, controlling yourself at the very beginning was hard because that box is low, low down. Since they have been on my own for about two months, I, s I would say that I do do well. I cycle a lot more often and I'm able to maintain my uh, physical ability that I've gained from the cycling. Yes, I actually have a bike insi inside my house. It's on the trainer. It's part of my living room. It's like my second recliner. And I just ride that on week on weeknights where I don't have a lot of homework or on weekends just for something to do. Sometimes I watch it while I'm, I'm I ride it while I'm watching TV like NASCAR or the History Channel just for something to do. And plus, it's it's great. It's a just a fun way to exercise. Let me clarify something right there. The only reason I am wearing pink socks is because I got those socks while I was in Nebraska because my aunt has breast cancer so we're kind of supporting her and when she sees this documentary, hopefully she'll be happy that I am proud to wear pink socks. 
this is actually my favorite experience from the whole Philly trip. Um, me and Henry and that lovely lady right there, she's like Henry's assistant. And they said if I did good earlier that morning on the test, they would do the Gundam style dance. As you can clearly see, Melissa is the better dancer. You're still here? What are you doing here? I got cycling to do. Go home. <laughs>